you are the very first batch of BTEC students in our young department. I'm Professor Rajesh Prasad, and I'm very happy and excited to welcome you all. I welcome you with balloons, the yellow and the blue and the red and green balloon. New department, new year, new students, and new pro sorry, old professor. This is old professor, but with a young heart. This is my heart. Keep it safely. We will experiment with it later. Well, it has been a long presentation. Let's have a break. Let me don my magician's hat and perform a little magic trick. Here is my magic liquid. That's a cola. Good for magic tricks, but not for drinking. Let me pour a glass full of it. A lot of carbon dioxide bubbles are coming out, but it settles now. And here is my magic powder, the common salt. I just add a spoonful of it to my liquid. Oh, what's happening? Carbon dioxide is coming out very, very, very rapidly. The technical jargon for this is heterogeneous nucleation. You will study more about it later on in your course. Why worry as materials engineer? Because control of nucleation gives you control of microstructure and control of property. More nucleation, finer grains, stronger materials. Introduction to Material Science and Engineering, an introductory course, will introduce this to you and later on you will take more advanced courses like phase transformation, discussing this in detail. Let's look at this polymer ball. Nice little ball, let me bounce it on the table. Oh. It's a nice ball which bounces. But if I now press it with my hammer, let's see what happens. Oh, I can squeeze it out of shape. It's a nice flat disc now. Let me get, get, get it back into shape again. And now, if I am impatient with my hammer, I want to get it out of shape in one strike of my hand. Oh, nothing really happened. Rather silly. In fact, its commercial name is Silly Putty. The take home message, the take home scientific message here is that the deformation behavior of material depends not only on the material itself but also the rate at which you are trying to deform. In slow deformation, it's quite deformable and plastic, but at a high rate of deformation, it behaves elastically. You will learn more about these things in courses like mechanical behavior of material. Very, very important from engineering point of view. This is a small piece of wire made of nickel titanium alloy known as nitinol. It has a strange shape and I have sketched the shape here. Now I do an experiment. I simply deform it out of the shape more or less into a straight wire. And I have here hot water and I simply pour the hot water over it. Oh, you can see it's deforming. With heat, things deform, you know thermal expansion, but this is totally new. The wire has more or less regained its original shape. Let me try to check that. Now you can see it has matched its original shape. This is, this effect is called the shape memory effect. 
and the alloy is known as shape memory alloy. Is it just a trick or gimmick? Why bother about it? Actually, it has a lot of engineering applications and is an important alloy in material science and engineering. One application I would like to quote is in medical stenting. The best stents for heart patients are made of the shape memory alloys. Let me come back to my heart and let me do a small experiment, a bit harsh experiment. I just want to make a prick with a pin. Oh, that was rather dramatic, wasn't it? All I was trying to do was to make a hole equal to the diameter of this pin into the balloon. But the balloon bursts and my heart breaks. <laughs> So, actually, this is a very, very important engineering concern. All materials fail finally by fracture. And what we saw here was that we introduced a small crack that is equal to the diameter of the pin, but that crack grew very rapidly through, through the material of the balloon. This is a field of fracture and you will meet it in various courses here in, in, in our curriculum. And finally, there is an advanced course in fracture mechanics. The time has come to say goodbye to you all. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, introduction and I hope that you will not break my heart. You will work hard here and you will uh, come up to the expect your own expectation and to the country's expectation and to all our expectations. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.